Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a front porch makeover with adding some beautiful plants. So I'm taking you guys with me and I hope you guys gonna enjoy. So the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is hit those windows. I've got my Windex and I got my paper towels to go ahead and get these windows nice and clean because we want everything to get that spring ready feeling of fresh and new. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so we got those windows clean, on to the next thing. and cleaned up we're gonna go and put the furniture back on so the furniture that I have is a very old set I do wish I had a little bit more funds to get a new set but if you don't you guys use exactly what you have and make it work and this is what I do all the time I do have a ton of projects that go on and I utilize exactly what I have and make things work and save myself and my family some money. So I'm using an old set that I had for a very long time that I picked up from Big Lots. So I am setting this in the center because I want to have everything pretty centered on my front porch. So here is the runner that I'm going to be using. I just purchased this is a very this is a new runner that I purchased from Aldi um, and it's a little grocery store here on the East Coast that I picked up I'm not sure if it's anywhere else but here on the East Coast I picked up this little runner here and I thought it was absolutely cute y'all look at the pattern okay this is indoor outdoor rug I only spent roughly about $15 for this rug okay Now it's centered, and now we're going to put our chairs.
All right, so now we have our chairs. Our seat covers right here. Okay, you guys, I'm coming back. I've had to do a voiceover. It just started getting really, really windy, and I'm not was not sure if you guys were hearing me really well. But here is just some pillows. I decided to actually just puff it out and untake my karate chop to make it look like a down pillow. And here are some smaller pillows that I picked up from Lowe's, and these are just beautiful. I did karate chop those. These are, once again, not down pillows, which are not feather pillows, but you can get that concept and that look by doing a nice karate chop and pressing down, and you can get that look. Here's a water fountain that I picked up from Lowe's. I picked this up in a Lowe's haul on Beauty in the Garden, and it was uh, roughly about 27 basically about $30. And I picked it up for my daughter, and uh, she loves it. So here is a DIY, just to show you guys. I just used a regular flower pot and some concrete. And the branch that I'm using fell off from the tree in my front yard, and I decided to utilize it as decoration. And I like to do that with a lot of my projects, is reusing things that I have or things that might work. So it, that was a glazed pot, and I'm just going to place my um, little DIY right into that pot to make it look really uh, put together. Now I will show you guys my idea of how I want to make this even better, but I'll have to go to the store and finish uh, purchasing a couple of more items to finish off this DIY. All right, so right here is a beautiful elephant ear that I'm going to be placing for some greenery. All the greenery that I am putting on this front porch makeover is um going to grow really big and give you that wow factor right now these are coming out of my uh, garage i have my um, garage set up for all of my plants so i took these out and what i'm going to be doing is letting these grow and fill in those areas that i'm going to be placing um these pots i'm using a dollar tree glass plate you guys let me tell you if you want a pretty water reservoir, get a plate. I mean, sometimes if you pay a price for the water reservoirs for two, you might as well just go to the Dollar Tree or somewhere and find a dollar plate and it looks more cleaner and lasts a lot longer. Now here I do have a couple of command strips here that I'm gonna be placing these on wall decor. These are old um, pictures that I had and I painted it. The backside gray and the backside of it, I am facing forward. And uh, I really like how that came along. Just give you like a peekaboo look, a uh, peekaboo of the little bit of gray uh, on the sides. Now I'm going to be placing my table. Now the guys, this came from five and below. The bottom base is uh But I went ahead and utilized the tray that I had as centerpiece before. And I'm placing it now as a tabletop. Here is a vase that I picked up from TJ Maxx. And you guys, I just love how everything is starting to come together piece by piece, different design elements, different shapes. Uh, if you look, all the patterns are different and it's just working for me. Here is some weathered uh, bamboo stakes that give you that natural element. Now, I actually use these, you guys, for my peppers and things like that. And I was just like, this would actually work for what? I am looking for, I needed that pop of natural elements that I wanted to put onto the front porch as part of the decoration. And it just came out fantastic. And I know you guys have seen people use sticks and stuff like that. And you guys, those pieces of art are expensive. And this right here was, hello, free. Cause I didn't have these uh, um, bamboo sticks now for about maybe five, eight years. Okay, so I'm putting in my lanterns. I did pick these lanterns up and spray painted them. 
and now I'm going to show you guys how I repurpose a wok so this wok right here came from my home and I made a mistake you guys and put too much tomatoes in this wok and rusted out my wok and so I decided to keep the wok and I took off the handle and I put in there some beautiful succulents and when this fills in you guys I'm telling you I will bring you guys back so you guys can see how everything turned out as things start to grow right here is another little vase that I picked up as well from TJ Maxx nice little uh, glaze uh, vase So as you can see, all of the things are starting to come together. Here is my leaf that I picked up from Kirtland's. I had it for a long time, you guys. I was going to paint it black, but I decided just to keep it how it was. And I'm just going to wedge it in between my shutters and my doorway. And you guys, I really just thought this was actually so pretty that I wasn't... Um, thinking that it was going to work but it worked really good and i just was so happy i did not have to paint it here is a papaya tree um you guys ah i can't wait till this papaya gets bigger okay but this is my papaya that i'm placing here and i will be popping in some more greenery onto the front porch so these are hostas that i'm placing in these pots okay with the dollar tree plate and you guys, that's just going to fill in, okay? I hope you guys can see the vision of it all filling in. But here is the, the final result of the front porch makeover. Okay, so right down here is the concrete you see that I poured. And I'm thinking a nice layer of moss is going to look really nice to cover that concrete pretty and very tranquil on the front porch uh, everything like I showed you guys is definitely going to fill in and give you that wow factor of that greenery that I'm looking for but maybe within maybe two to three weeks I'll come back and show you guys how everything is filling in all right in the planter as well I'm going to be putting the mother of pearls that's what I want to put into the leaf planter Now these little hooks, you guys, um, they're not actually command hooks. I actually got these, you guys, from the Dollar Tree. I guess this is a dupe of a command hook. So, but I really, really like how everything came along. Let me know in the comments below. Did you guys like this makeover? Definitely, definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this makeover.